Okay, viewers, it is time again for nothing. Anyway, it's time to introduce a new Let's Play. Yeah, it's probably just gonna be another one of those old Game Boy Advance games. Oh, what's this? A Nintendo 64? How'd that get there? Does this mean... <gasps> it's a Nintendo game? Oh no! It's Mario and his good friend, but it looks like something's wrong. What could possibly be? What could it possibly be? They're talking about who among them is the biggest star. The superstar. A superstar must be strong, says Mario. And his bad self. Donkey Kong's got bragging rights for strength. Right? And Luigi kinda gets caught in the middle of this. Oh yes! Punch! And DK's just like, I've got muscles to prove it. Look how badly pixelated they are. Well, actually, these are pretty good graphics. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't want to be Lu Luigi. Or perhaps Mario should take the best superstar. I mean, he is the greatest. And not the modest. Or maybe Princess Peach. Oh yes, because she is a definite bitch. Or, how about... But wait, we can't forget Yoshi with all his energy. Why, they're all arguing. Each one complains to be a superstar. So they all kind of like, you know, hump toed and he's just like, WAIT A SECOND! Jesus Christ. Toad with super jump. Does each of you really want to be a superstar? Then let's see, what does it take to become a superstar? Of course Toad would know. Does it only take strength to be a superstar? A <laughs> Luigi. <laughs> In order to be a superstar, it takes courage. And wisdom. And... Greenness. And, uh... And, uh... And... Kindness. <laughs> Which I don't think Donkey Kong and Wario are quite getting. If all of you want to be superstar, then I have an idea. Why not use this warp pipe in the mushroom village and head out into an adventure? The person who comes out of the adventures on top is the superstar. What? Hmm. There's no telling what kind of danger might await you. Do you want to head out into an adventure? <laughs> Luigi. Oh, I thought Luigi said no. Luigi steps up first. Oh, <laughs> Yeah! Go! Like, Toad would know everything about a superstar. Run! I can't believe Wario's fat ass is in first. Or... Pipe of Doom! Woo! Mario Party! Yes! We are doing a Nintendo 64 game! This just means that my Project 64 emulator is working now. So yeah. And... The title screen would always be different. If you first play the game, it would show a blank screen with Toad and everybody waving at you. Or something like that. But every time you would win a game, it would go with the, a certain character. It would show a background relating to that character and that character. What the? Relating to that character and that character's um area. Like Luigi has his engineer area. But yeah, we're doing the first Mario Party board playthroughs. Although I don't think I have, I don't think I can get Eternal Star in. But we'll try and do everything, but. So right now we've got the warp pipe just to go into the adventure right away. The mushroom bank, keep all your items here. The mushroom shop, 
I will be visiting that a little bit because I don't have all the blocks. Minigame house, option house, and minigame island. So yeah, I'm just going to be doing board playthroughs. And at the end of a board, we would immediately... I would have a poll, basically, for the next board. A vote. So, yeah. Just don't vote for Magma Mountain or Eternal Star. I'm saving those for last. Actually, I might even not get to Eternal Star, now that I think about it. Huh. No, I don't think I'm going to get to Eternal Star. That might be like a way later extra video, because it takes a while to unlock it. But, okay. Let's go into the warp pipe and start the next adventure. Woo! I mean, for an N64 game, these are some pretty awesome graphics. I mean, it's a little laggy on my computer on my recorder. Eh, not so much. Okay. I'm gonna be my favorite character. And, uh, let's see. Other good people. Wario, Mario, and Peach. You always put in Peach because she screws you up. And I play on normal. Let's see. Let's go to, um, Rainbow Castle. Mario's Rainbow Castle is always a good starting point. And, um, 20 turns. Definitely 20 turns. It would take way too long to do 35. Or 50. Mario's Rainbow Castle! That was probably going to sound terrible on camera. Anyway, so here's basically how the map looks. Right there will be the star. And then here's just basically the board of clouds and then the starting area. Whoop. Now, this is the first of the Mario starting point, obviously. So you start out with Koopa Troopa. Welcome, everybody. I'm your guy, Koopa Troopa. The castle you see from here once was once the beautiful castle called Rainbow Castle. But the rainbow disappeared, and even the name Rainbow Castle has been forgotten. With, with your own hands, you must reveal the shining Rainbow Castle once more by collecting the stars from Toad and Bowser and yada, yada, yada. So you hit a block deciding turn order. Boom! Ah, dang it, Wario. Why'd you have to steal my place? Okay, so Wario's first, and I'm second. That's a good thing. Peach is third, and Mario is last. And then we get our ten coins. Now, the rules are a little different from, like, because I know everybody's probably familiar with the really new ones, like 8 and 6 and 5 and 7 and 4. But back, th back then, it was way different. They move really slow in this one. Let me see if my settings are correct. Settings. Saving settings. Every turn, message settings, best. Uh, yeah. Back. So, pop. Got four. One, two, three, four. Blue spaces give you plus three. Red spaces give you minus three. Blue spaces with, or er, mushroom spaces will give you, um, either a mushroom to roll again or a poison mushroom to miss your next turn. Now, that little star right there, oh, that's... Happening spaces means something on the board happens. Right there, Toad gets switched with Bowser. I'll explain that later. Anyway, so that star symbol right there, next to Mario, means you'd play a one-player minigame. Right now, we have a four-player minigame, because we were all landed on the blue space. Treasure Divers. Well, when you land on the green space, it's going to be random. So, basically, after everybody moves, you play a minigame. And this one's treasure divers. You want to try and get all the chests. Dive into the sea and bring up a treasure chest from the bottom. Press A to dive. And then you tap A to start swimming. Um, I am not doing this on my keyboard. I actually have a... I actually have a controller. and um, I have a Logitech USB controller. You'll start to drown if you're underwater too long. 
So just remember that. So yeah, let's go. And you don't want to get hit by the fish, or else you'll... That'll happen. Okay, get this bottom chest. Dodge the fish. I swim directly up. Arr! Got it. Okay, I'm gonna wait for Wario to get hit by that blooper, because I just know it is. Or that sushi. Sushi's the name of the shark, by the way. Come on, get hit. No! No. No. Yes! I got it. Yeah. I'm guessing that Peach isn't going to lose that. Well, this is the next biggest, and that tiny one's only got a coin, but better than nothing. I could probably... Yeah, I got it. Oh, God, I didn't even know I hit that. I thought I was going to swim up when it turned. Okay, so it's a pretty simple minigame. You do it to get coins. I got 13. Now, the purpose of coins, you need 20 coins to buy a star. And if you have a star, the more coins you get, the more chances you're going to be in first place. But the more stars you get, it doesn't matter how many coins they have, a star overpowers a coin. <laughs> so you want to try and get a lot of coins. But usually a four-player minigame would be like... It would be like you versus them to get your own 10 coins. And sometimes it's you all working together trying to get 10 coins for everybody. Now here's a one player mini game, and I think he failed. Nope, he hit it right at the last second. Yeah, these are the one player mini games. You play them by yourself to get 10 coins, but if you fail, you lose 5 coins. Now there's three, four different types of mini game. Four player, which we just saw, one player like this. Um, one on three, if the one player wins, then um, they gain 15 coins, and the other players would lose five. If the three players win, they'd win five, and the one player would lose 15. And two players basically just gain 10 coins for the winning team. But that's all the time we have for this introduction. So, see you next time for let's for more Let's Play Mario Party.